the mistake that I made with my girls when, um, when they were teenagers was I was just trying to parent from that place of control. And my, my daughter was having some moodiness. We just started fighting. And instead of being the calm adult, I was just fighting back. I was dishing it back. And it just increased the gulf between us. And it was really one day that she'd gone to school. We'd gotten in a stupid fight that morning. And God just convicted my heart. And it took a lot of humility because I was not willing to admit it before then. But I just fell to my knees. And I knew that something in our relationship had to change. And it had to begin with me. So that's my first message in the mother-daughter relationship is, you know, moms, we're the adults. And so if something's going to change or we're having this shift, it really begins with us. And, um, you know, all my life, ever since my girls were babies, I feel like there's such a negative narrative out there that everybody will tell you when you have a baby girl, oh, she's so precious, but just wait until she's a teenager, you'll be miserable. And I never liked that narrative. And I was like, I'm not going to just try to survive my daughter's teenage years. You know, my goal is to want to finish strong and I want to have a good relationship with them. Because really, if you think about it, girls and moms, you know, what happens in those last years at home before a girl leaves home, that sets the stage for the longer relationship. Because our longer relationship might be that that friendship that lasts for 50 or 60 years after our children leave home. So that was what I wanted was I want to put some good dynamics into place. And, you know, as, as parents, obviously, we've got we're loving our children, but we've got to parent them. And as Bethany's video showed that sometimes when we're parenting you girls, you're not going to like us very much. You might not understand some of the decisions we make. And so that's the balance we're trying to find as parents is how to keep that relationship, but also set the boundaries that are protecting you that you might not even know that you need. So I think my, my first takeaway for you moms in building the mother-daughter relationship is moms just, you know, know that no child wants to be the strongest person in the room. No child wants to be the calmest person in the room, that it really is up to us to set the stage and aim to be the stronger and kinder and wiser one. And I have a friend who's a counselor and she describes it like this, that, you know, if your daughter is getting on the emotional roller coaster and she's panicking about something, instead of joining her on the roller coaster, our job as moms is to be like, okay, I'm not going to get on that emotional roller coaster with you, but I'm going to be standing here on the platform waiting for you with my arms wide open when you're ready to get off. And obviously we do not do that all the time. We fail all the time, but that's the goal is to try to be that stronger voice in their life and that voice of reason. 